Hello guys and welcome back to another uh, apartment spree build, yeah. <laughs> I've doing, been doing a lot of apartments recently just because I like them, I like playing in apartments. They're uh, pretty easy to maintain and you know, they're just really enjoyable. So yeah, I have done a, as you can see, well by the title, is a photographer's apartment. Now this apartment I didn't want to make it too crazy um, because the person that I had kind of in mind living here was kind of like a minimalist so they like everything clean and they don't really own too much but again um, yeah again I thought they might be like a starting out photographer so they haven't got much in the way of equipment or anything like that but they are starting out and beginning their journey into the photography career or whatever or hobby whatever they want to do uh, so yeah I actually really enjoyed uh, doing this apartment uh, I didn't clutter it up a lot I thought if you guys downloaded this apartment that you could clutter it up to how you wanted to and the style that I kind of went for was I guess you could say like a retro modern vibe if that makes any sense um, like as you'll see in a minute I gave them a record player and I thought it fit really well into the sort of aesthetic of the apartment and I actually did really enjoy putting that in so so yes I really liked that and I thought you know because it's a, a quite a big apartment and that comes into them being like a starter uh, photographer is that this is is a big apartment but it's not it's not like penthouse scale apartment you know so they are just starting out but they've got enough room to branch out and do what they need to so yeah um, and again like I said it's a big apartment so they could probably throw pretty awesome parties in this apartment so yeah really enjoyed it and I did have to bite the bullet, unfortunately. I did, um, oh no, I had to buy the Machino, Moschino, whatever it's called, pack, because, you know, in order to do this apartment, I wanted the stuff that came with that pack. Sorry, that was my phone that just went off. <laughs> I wanted the stuff that came with that pack, and oh, it was just like, I wish it was like Sims 3 days where you could just, you know, buy like one or two items off of the store and then that would be it. <laughs> that was so good. Bring it back Sims team, bring it back. <laughs> um, but yeah, that I wish it could have just been like that because there were a few items that I wanted as well as the windows and stuff that I thought they were really cool. But some of the other things I didn't want, like the, the cast items, like... I mean, I'm not a very stylish person, you know, I wear what I wear, I'm comfortable, whatever, but when I'm in Cass, I try and, you know, opt for the most easiest thing to put on my Sims, and that stuff is just not my style, obviously, my opinion, so it just, it just doesn't look nice to me. But the, obviously, the build and buy items I really liked, um... But I had to pay, I paid the £10 and, you know, I got, you know, the camera, the tripod, stuff like that and the backdrops, which I found very useful and they were really nice to actually use and put in one of the rooms where you'll see majority to the end, so. So, yeah. And in other news, have you guys heard about university and you know what might be coming out obviously today is the 10th of November so I'm pretty sure there will be um, most of the youtubers well the big youtubers are getting early access so I will definitely be here for that I'm so going to be watching all their videos because I can't wait uh, university is is one that I am not you know I'm not too fussed about but it's been a long time coming and I think it's going to bring so much more gameplay and objects and and just so much more oomph, if you know what I mean, to the game. So 
very excited for it and hopefully it will be really good. Uh, I know that the bigger simmers went to Sims Camp um, like a few days ago and they've just got back and you know they can't really say much but they're like raring to go. Um, so I'm I'm actually looking forward to it. Unfortunately I didn't I didn't um, tune in to the Sim Guru's live stream of university just I don't know, I kind of wait for the other YouTube channels to sort of break it down and make it smaller and, you know, so you can watch it and you just get the the detailed bits, if you know what I mean, of the video. Uh, so I get bored really easily and just hear, like, just, you know, watching the, the gurus talk about it. I, I do enjoy it, but then I get a little bit bored and I just want to see more gameplay. So I'm like, come on. So that's why I don't particularly watch the live ones. I have done in the past saying that, but because I work full time, I, I most most of the time I miss them. I miss them when they come on and I give up because I tune in halfway through I give up and then I'm just like okay I'm just gonna wait for like Sims VIP or Pixelade to break it down and make it a bit more you know enjoyable and they do and I love it I love those channels for that so so yeah I'm so excited are you guys excited I hope you are um because obviously I know when the you know the Sims team work on these packs it is you know very tasking and they do a good job I really think they do so I am looking forward to that now back to the build I guess well I was never talking about the build but back to the build um I was humming hum and about making this flat a sort of like a a party flat if you know what I mean like people would come here play karaoke but then I took that away and I was just like no I think a bit more of a tamer vibe to this flat as well as like I said I put the record player in there just so it gave it a bit more um, modern retro -y, sort of humble vibe that you would get from it um, and yeah and I was I actually really enjoyed that look and some of the warmer colours and using the newer the newer stuff of the pack which isn't a new pack anymore it's new to me because I, I didn't buy it when it first came out it's so annoying that uh, Moschino pack I was waiting for it to go on sale and then the other day uh, Origin had a sale on some of the packs but it wasn't that pack and I was like typical so typical so I had to bite the bullet and I just did it. Ah, why? <laughs> uh, I've never bought a Sims pack on sale, which is annoying. So, you know, that's a, that is not a first. <laughs> so yeah, oh, and I put the card holder thing down on the coffee table because I thought maybe as they're a starting out business or whatever that you know whoever came in or had photo shoots at their flat they could be like here take a card any card <laughs> and I put that sort of folder on the little side table over there the blue one just because I thought maybe that might be the you know por portfolios that they have to look through or their portfolio that they're you know gathering and editing stuff so so I just went for that kind of idea and I wanted to put a dining room table in but this took me a while I had to edit out a little bit of it I think um, just because you know I mean this flat is very sparse so picking out something that went with the colour scheme and how I wanted it to be was really difficult for me um, I'm not the greatest interior designer, so <laughs> oh, so I did try, I did try. Um, so yeah, and hopefully you guys like this flat. Obviously, it will be on my uh, on my Origin for you guys to download. And the other day, I actually went on my Origin just to see so how some of my builds are doing, you know, and 
I've got so many downloads on, on, I think, uh, I think my first house was the Halloween Lovers house, so please go check that out. I may leave a card somewhere in the corner for you to check that out, but that one on Origin has got quite a few, you know, quite a few downloads, and I think it's because, you know, it's quite a traditional house, and there isn't much decoration in it, it's, it's a Halloween themed, like, s suburban house, but you could take those decorations down and just make it your own, which I really enjoyed, you know, it's very versatile, so, <sighs> it just makes me happy and I love it, <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, it's really weird because when I first started this channel, um, which wasn't long ago, mind you, but when I first, uh, you know, made the channel, I thought that views and the numbers would matter a lot to me. But they haven't actually mattered a lot. Um, obviously, I like to see people, you know, viewing my builds and I like to see them enjoying it and taking inspiration. Um, but I thought, you know, the, you know, I'd, I'd, it would be like, I want more views, I want this, I want this, I want more people subscribing and stuff like that, but it's really not like that. I'm actually really enjoying making videos and branching out a bit more and, you know, furnishing more houses and just going for it because I never used to do that when I just used to play it on my own, on my standard computer, I just used to, you know, like build a house that I always used to build um I had this set way that I would build kind of like a bungalow house which is a one one floor house if you don't know what a bungalow is um which is very common in the UK um and I would build like kind of one of those houses and I would always do a sim that loved to collect things so there was a collector uh, and I would try and collect all of the uh, like seeds and crystals and gems and and fish and bugs uh, and I would just fill, I'd make like a basement and just fill the basement up with all the stuff I used to collect and I never used to finish the collections because I always got bored like I would play it for ages and then I would get bored and then I would be like no I'm done now, I want to move on to something else. And then that something else would be exactly the same. I really don't understand how my brain works <laughs> when I'm playing Sims, because I guess it's just a comfort thing. You know, I didn't want too much of a change, so I made it basically all the same, which, I mean, is good in a way, but then just branch out, you know? Do what you haven't done before in The Sims, and because... I think um, shortly after my spurt of just doing the same thing over and over again, I actually made the um, house from American Horror Story, the Coven House, the witch's house. I made their house and I loved that house and I got all the occult sims, so aliens, vampires, um, at the time there were no witches so it was aliens, vampires, um, aliens, vampires, I can't think of any more, I know there's at least one more surely, I can't remember, but I used to get all of those and, and then I had an alien that was in the actor career and I had a vampire that was like a freelancer, uh, oh a, a mermaid, there you go, a mermaid that was I can't remember what she did. I think she was just, you know, casual, do what you want kind of thing. Um, and she would go around <laughs> collecting stuff. Um, so I kept a bit of the old, uh, old me in that house, but I actually really enjoyed it. And I was just like, why haven't I done this before? Why don't I branch out and do other things instead of doing the same thing over and over again? <laughs> um, yeah, my brain works in funny ways sometimes, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, right. 
So where are we up to now? Okay, uh, we are in the bedroom. Again, when I look back on this bedroom, I did actually think to me, I didn't really put much clutter in this bedroom. I, I think I had the minimalist thing in my mind. I was just like, they don't have much. They have quite a few like pictures around the flat, sort of decorations and stuff. Um, but yeah, I didn't actually put any clutter. I'm really bad for that. Sorry guys, like I need to work on um, cluttering things up and actually make it look like it's been, you know, lived in instead of just making it look like a show home all the time. Um, yeah, it really bugs me. Uh, and in this bathroom, I actually wanted to put a shower and bath. And I never really used that corner bath, so I put that in there as well. Um, and again, because it is, you know, it's, um, it's San Mashuno, I wanted to put that toilet in there because who wouldn't want a toiking, a toiking, a toiking toilet? <laughs> oh my God, I sounded like gold member off of uh, Austin Powers then. <laughs> <laughs> um, a talking toilet. I wanted that there, and you know, they've got quite a good setup going. You know, by all means, this sim or sims haven't, you know, they're not poor in a sense. You know, they're, they've got quite a few good am amenities. Amenities, there we go. And I wanted, really wanted to put a washer and dryer in as well. Just because it makes the you know it makes the game more more true or more realistic you know so wanted to do that and hopefully that would look nice <laughs> uh, yeah so just putting some towels on the counter making it look a bit natural and not so fixed to the counter uh, and yeah trying to fit in a few more things but again didn't have room even though it's a massive massive flat so <laughs> um i actually really like that tile on the wall as well it's a really nice tile especially in that colorway it was really nice um so yeah here i am actually doing the photographer's little studio or you know office room whatever you want to call it i was using these and i actually did go in and play around a bit with it um because i wanted to make sure everything actually worked um and they're pretty cool the backdrops are actually pretty cool um never seen never seen anything really like that in the sims before not that i think anyway so that's pretty cool and i put this little marker down so hopefully they would stand there and pose and be all you know fabulous and whatnot uh, and yeah just putting some amps down i don't know actually why i put those down but you know it was part of the pack so i'm going to use the goddamn pack because i paid 10 pound for that pack <laughs> putting some lights around those those lights would actually be very good for a, like a gaming studio like thing going on so <clears throat> oh frog in my throat the oh, been feeling a bit rough lately <laughs> woe is me but yeah putting some of those i thought maybe they've got those there so the the models can wear a few different things you know whenever they need to take pictures and whatnot so and i wanted to put in some blackout curtains because you know you're in a studio you don't really want sunlight reflecting back you know onto the the camera i thought that was a bit you know ridiculous so that's what i did put in some yeah there you go black curtain so hopefully it looks a bit more professional and using some of the wallpaper that came with machino moschino whatever stuff pack as well <laughs> so yes coming towards the end of the video now i hope you guys enjoyed uh, I will be uploading this to my Origin ID, which is Kid Chuckles, for you to peruse. I hope you've had a smashing day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time